From a new development on the Boise foothills that's 20 years in the making to a development along the Boise River that has one of the most recognizable names in the valley. In this state of 208, Don Nelson sits down with Don Day of Boise Dev to find out what he's been keeping an eye on. You'll notice these two developments driving around town. How much you'll notice one has yet to be determined. Here's more with Boise Dev's Don Day. You know the expression, patience is a virtue. The developer of Boulder Heights Estates on Warm Springs Mesa proved time was on his side, something Don Day, who lives nearby, noticed immediately. Here we are in 2019, and I look off the rim. My fiance actually notices it. She's like, what are they moving all that dirt up on the Mesa for? So I go and look at it, and they are still working off of those 2001 agreements to build these homes, and they're doing another couple phases. More than 200 homes when it's all said and done. Now to the other project that would bring some 300 condos along the Boise River. It has caught the attention of the Albertson family. Apparently, two members of the family own homes on the bench overlooking Catherine Albertson Park, and they've stepped up and said, not so fast. So the developer, they want to go up 80 feet. Okay. They did some renderings and they showed, hey, these buildings are going to sit down below the tree line. You won't be able to see them from the, the rim. No big deal. The uh, Albertson family, which obviously uh, has helped develop the park and is mm -hmm. currently spending money to redevelop Catherine Albertson Park, they also own ha homes up along the rim. So they came into the planning and zoning meeting in Boise and said, you know what, our renderings, we did our own renderings, and they show it's going to be real high and it's going to block the view and it's going to kind of change the neighborhood. PNZ listened and asked for a variance. Ironically, the Albertson family said lower, while the developer said higher. You can't appeal on the view, right? right? You have a view one day and you don't the next. There's not really much you can do about it. There's no law saying you can't block my view, bro. Okay. It just doesn't work that way. So now the Boise City Council will ultimately have the final say on up or down. We'll catch up with Don Day from Boise Dev in September. Don Nelson, 6 on your side.